So get rid of that. <coughs> Back to this one. So here, we don't need the make note object anymore because um, we can deal with that information as uh, a note on on this side and a note off on this side. So make note doesn't need to make the, the note offs for us. What's happening with make note is that it makes the note, plays the note of uh, of the, the number that it receives with a velocity of 127 and then 200 milliseconds later it will send the same note with a velocity of zero and it remembers what notes it's received so it knows when to send uh, note offs to it. So what I'm going to do is uh, instead of, um, so that I don't have to reconnect anything, um, I'm going to use pack. Oops. Now what I've done there sneakily is to put two values in, a 0 and 127, but when these come in, they only update the left hand side, so 127 is never going to change, so it's always going to be a velocity of 127, it's always going to output a list of the note number that you send into the left hand inlet, which is going to update the 0, plus a velocity of 127, and then it will update note out. And then if we do the same thing over here, pack 0 and 0, then this time, the zero on the left-hand side is just a placeholder in both cases. So it will always be updated by whatever comes in as a note number. Um, and then the velocity of is always going to be zero from this side. So what we're doing, if I send that to the same place, is to, to get um, a, a note of 127 velocity whenever we press the key down and a note of velocity of zero when we release it, i.e. turning the note on and off. So here we are. Let's put a key. Okay, so now I'm holding down the key Z and it uh, continues to play until I release it. I'm releasing it now um, and then it stops it. Right. So, on to exercise 3 of exercises 3A. Uh, I might have uh, named those a little more, less confusingly, but uh, anyway. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, it says open key control key control two. I'll uh, get rid of this one. So we understand how this one works now, hopefully. Uh, and key control two does exactly the same thing, but using a col again. So here, if we double click on col, um, we've got all the the uh, key numbers down the left hand side as our indices. So note that they don't have to be in ascending order or anything. Um, they they just need to appear there. And then the notes that you want to um, happen uh, are on the right-hand side. And again, those could be in any order. They wouldn't necessarily have to be in uh, rising order there. <coughs> so when I press the key 122, 48 will be sent through here. Here we've got a, um, a message box. Uh, which does exactly the same thing as the pack object was doing before. Um, it routes through the, n the note number that we had, um, which if, if it were 122 pressed, uh, so whatever the key is, presumably Z or Z, um, <clears throat> it will run through and 127 will be added to it as a list and throughput into note out. Notice the, the dollar $1 um, placeholder, if you like, and the dollar one always takes um, whatever you send through the message box and, and, and throughputs it, if you like. So if it's 48, it'll come out with 48,127. If it's 49, it'll come out with 49,127. And exactly the same thing is true on the other side. Um, we will probably encounter the dollar one placeholder um, elsewhere as well. Um, we, in fact, encounter dollar one and then dollar two, dollar three, and so on. Um, which uh, <coughs> refers to different uh, uh, the the items in a list that might come in, uh, but you don't need to worry about that right now. Um, and uh, I think is that it for this tutorial? Yes, it is.